Hello everybody, in this video I would like to share my opinion as to why I think Blender 3 is great as a third party renderer for computer aided design, concepts and models. Ok let's start. Number 1. Flexible choice of import format from computer aided design programs. Blender accepts 3D data from formats such as OBJ, STL and FBX. This allows for parts, assemblies and designs to be brought into Blender's environment for further works. In the case of FBX format, animation information can also be imported as well. Number 2. Realistic Real-Time Design Visualization With EEVE making its debut in version 2.8, real-time visualization becomes a possibility. This is especially useful for creating presentations without the need for time-consuming pre-renders. Number 3. Enhance Viewport Responsiveness and Rendering Speed EEVE allows for highly responsive visual feedback due to its fast and yet fairly realistic displays. Additionally, with Cycles X being integrated into Blender, version 3 and above, cycles based tasks also offer a massive performance increase in terms of render times and viewport responsiveness over the previous version. Number 4. Material Asset Library The asset browser was introduced in Blender 3.0. This enables previously created material shaders as well as objects to be easily reused via the asset browser. Now it is very convenient for previously created assets to be modified and tailored for the project at hand. Number 5. Flexible GPU render options. Blender now offers CUDA optics and HIP for GPU rendering support. In another word, both NVIDIA and AMD compatible cards are supported. Number 6. Inbuilt Post Processing As you may know, with many third-party renderers, you can export the rendered file with render passes. Often, this is in the format of multi-layered PSD files. In Blender, the post processing task can be performed within its environment via the compositor or compositing workspace. This makes it possible to tweak the render result directly within Blender, which can be a useful time saver. Lastly, the fact that it is free allows for installation on multiple machines without licensing issue constraints. This allows for great flexibility in terms of deployment. Okay, that's all for this video. These are just my opinions though. If you like, please drop your views at the comment section. See you. Bye.